it is time to go. So we're going to hand it off to Mission Control and launch this rocket. Go, New Shepard, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Command to the start. Two, one. Mission. Now the stop. And New Shepard has cleared the tower. If you're following along from home, you can note the speed and altitude graphics on your screen to the left. And as the capsule and the booster separate, you'll also be able to see those graphics split and flight. follow their um, ascent and descent as well. And right now, the engine is at 100% power level. A beautiful shot there of the BE-3. Begin throttle down for Q limiting. Engine response nominal. And here we are approaching our Q bucket. What is that? For well, our viewers who don't know. It's where Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Oh, we have the max aerodynamic stress um, on the vehicle, and so we're actually going to power down the engine as we go through that bucket. Excellent. Mach 1, vehicle is supersonic. Engine maintaining full throttle. Chamber pressure is nominal. We're about a minute and a half, just passing 60,000 feet. I love shots like this where you can just see the glow of the engine. Yeah, the BE-3 shining bright. A great shot from our long-range camera. Over 100,000 feet now. And we've also got a camera there on the booster looking back down on West Texas. Begin throttle down. Stand by, Miko. For our viewers who are just joining us and don't know, Miko is our main engine cutoff. Miko confirmed. And there you have it. Stand by separation. Separation confirmed. And as I mentioned, if you look to the left hand side of your screen, you'll notice that the uh, telemetry has split. So you'll be able to follow the capsule and the booster separately. They reach Apogee at right about capsule the same body time. Look good. You'll also notice on your screen, we've reached zero G. I know there are so many students and teachers watching today. We say hello to you, and we are also excited to learn more about your experiments and the results of those experiments. When, the capsule um, has passed the Carmen line. Then there you have it. The capsule has passed the Carmen line. And um, yeah, we can't wait to learn more once NS35 uh, returns back to West Texas. I always think it's so cool to have that split screen where you can see Texas from the booster and we've got that long range camera that I know it's kind of hard to see, but we do have the booster and the capsule there. Capsule Apogee at 345,000 feet. Yeah, soon on the image on the right, we'll be able to see, oh, you can kind of see yeah. it. You can see two little dots. That is the capsule and the booster. They've reached Apogee, they've crossed the Carmen line, and now they're making their way back down to West Texas. And since we do have so many students watching today, Claire, do you want to kind of explain Four why minutes, 35. the booster will land first? 
Yeah, so the booster is going to land about two miles north of the launch pad, and it is more aerodynamic, so it is going to go through the air a lot faster than the capsule. Therefore, it's going to land before the crew capsule lands. That's right. The crew capsule, as you notice, is more of a teardrop shape. Booster descent nominal through 300,000 feet. We are watching the booster and the capsule from our long-range cameras out in West capsule Texas. Capsule body rates look good. Just over five minutes into NS-35. Booster descent nominal. The booster coming in under 200,000 feet. An autonomous landing is what you'll see, again, as Claire mentioned, about two miles from our launch pad. Capsule has reached atmospheric pierce point. Confirm booster forward fin deploys. So those forward fins are some of our aerodynamic surfaces that uh, help us fly and return back to the landing pad. Here comes the booster. Just past six and, a ma six and a half minutes into flight. Great shot there. Booster drag brakes deployed. And now we're coming up to my favorite part is when we will actually relight the engine. And the Approaching booster lands. Restart. Let's see it. Engine restart. Landing deployed. Booster touchdown. Welcome home, New Shepard Booster. Welcome home, New Shepard Booster. Yes, beautiful touchdown and Starting great shots from our camera operators.